Hello and welcome everyone to a new beginning, a new type of format that we'll be discussing today, something very important, something which you are not anticipating, but something which I have been very excited about for a while. And of late it has become possible. And uh, while we are going to discuss today editorial analysis, but it's going to lead us into something very exciting, something very new and something which is going to help a lot of people. So I'm very excited for this particular session and what is about to be introduced. But before we get into those details, a few words on editorial analysis. I'll keep this session bilingual, but I'll make sure that both languages are covered so that you can understand what's going on. Editorial analysis, aaj hamara discussion hai, aur abhi tak jo aap karte aaye hai, current affairs ke segment mein, aap daily feeder page ke baare mein jaan gaya hai, you have come to realize about the daily feeder page, that it is a format which helps you capture the daily news of the newspaper into a very simple format and it is very condensed and it forces you to basically do this mental exercise. Okay. And if you don't know what the daily feeder page is, just in case, if you don't know what daily feeder page is, then this is the पिछले वीडियोस हैं जिसमें वो पूरी डिस्कशन है वो आप देखिए उसमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक है जहां पे वो डेली फीडर पेज डाउनलोड आप कर पाएंगे वंस यू हैव द डेली फीडर पेज एंड आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर ऑलरेडी इन द मोमेंटम ऑलरेडी इन द फ्लो ऑफ थिंग्स नाउ कम्स द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एडिटोरियल एनालिसिस नाउ एडिटोरियल्स कैन बी इंटिमिडेटिंग एडिटोरियल्स कभी थोड़े डिफिकल्ट आपको लगेंगे क्योंकि दे आर वेरी डिटेल्ड आर्टिकल्स अबाउट समथिंग वेरी स्पेसिफिक so news articles to general hote hain usually they'll point towards something and they'll tell you the news in factual they won't give you much analysis but editorial analysis editorials jo hote hain they are typically written by some experts by economist or by the former a former bureaucrat or perhaps the former governor or somebody who is a subject expert a domain expert about a very particular but burning topic so most beginners find them hard to comprehend एडिटोरियल्स कभी कभी इंटीमिडेटिंग हो जाते हैं पर उसके बारे में हमको डरने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है देर इज नथिंग टू फियर एट ऑल एंड द रीजन फॉर दैट इज दैट गोइंग टू डे गिव यू अ फॉर्मेट एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेंट्रल मैसेज अबाउट एडिटोरियल एडिटोरियल को फिलहाल अभी हम सिर्फ और सिर्फ एक रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन की तरह ट्रीट करेंगे हमको ये अज्यूम नहीं करना है वी डोंट केयर अबाउट how much we can understand from it we don't care about what is what is the depth of the writer what we need to do is to read the editorial and to just extract enough information to answer some questions that's it so hum ab editorial ko jaise approach karenge humko iske bare mein nahi sochna hai ki writer ne kitne detail mein likha hai kitne facts insert kare hue hain aur kis detail mein hai wo kitne words humko nahi samajh mein aa rahe hain we are not concerned jaise aap reading comprehension Encounter karte hai, as you encounter reading comprehension in the CSAT paper or in other exams, you don't understand necessarily you know, what, this, what the reading comprehension is. It may be about dinosaurs, it may be about paleontology, it may be about climate change, what alag -alag or technical the topics ke reading comprehensions are. We have to understand some questions. Ka answer dena hota hai. Or reading between the lines is also important when you are doing this type of analysis of the reading comprehension. So we will be treating editorials precisely the same way. Ye ek article hoga, kisi cheez ke baare mein, kuch depth mein hoga, zaruri nahi hai ki sara samaj mein aaya, aur zara zaruri nahi hai ki sara samjhe aur capture bhi kare hum. Humko kya capture karna hai exactly? What exactly we have to take from that? What exactly is the objective of the reading comprehension, which is now the editorial, is what I'll tell you. This now brings me to how to analyze and how to analyze the editorial, which is our reading comprehension, which is every day, every day, something comes out of the world, is going to depend on four questions. Quadratic questionnaire. I call it the quadratic questionnaire. Quadratic questionnaire is very simple, but it's deceptively simple. It's going to tell you something very important and we'll see what that is. So I will tell you the four questions, then I will take you personally through an entire editorial and I'll show you solve these questions and I'll tell you then what to do about it. Just sit back and see kya ho raha hai. Sirf dekhi, observe ki jay kya hai. Koi no nahi hai. It's not complicated. Aapke saamne reading comprehension aaya, maan lijiye. 
assume that a reading comprehension appears what's your first objective the first objective is not is not to completely start reading it not doing that the first question is to figure out what is the question what is the question that is trying to be that is being debated or that is trying to be answered or that is trying to be analyzed because editorial will be about an opinion and analysis kuch merits the merits usme way kare jayenge aur kuch conclusion nikala jayega aur kuch suggestions bhi ho sakte hain there may be some suggestions as well but it will most certainly be about some analysis so there will be pros and cons there the first question is what question does the article wish to address there will be a question should india do this or should you india do that is this a better option or is this a bad option is china appearing more dominant in the indian ocean area and is that a threat or not something like that will be a question to jo uska title hai whatever the title is that may give you a hint may give you a hint ho sakta hai title mein hi question ho but it is better ki hum wo khud frame kare so our first question is very simple what is the fundamental question being addressed in the editorial that's it nothing nothing complicated right now second the editorial will come and it will probably have a lot of facts a lot of data the first thing to do is eliminate that remove it entirely we do not care about the facts or the data no matter how important they may seem because as the exam draws close you will encounter the relevant data anyway in the economic survey in your current affair compilations in many other places perhaps if it is important enough if it's a data point or factored important enough it will come somewhere or the other facts ko hum ignore karenge jo data points hain india mein itna gdp hai ya life expectancy itni ho gayi hai aur itni ho sakti thi aur 1991 mein itni thi to ab improvement ho gaya to wo hum बिल्कुल इग्नोर कर देंगे हम एक रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन की तरह इसको ट्रीट कर रहे हैं ट्रीटिंग इट लाइक अ रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन वी आर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग रीडिंग बिटवीन द लाइंस फिगरिंग आउट व्हाट द एनालिसिस इज एंड फॉर गेटिंग एंड फिल्टरिंग दैट फैक्ट्स एंटायरली ट्रस्ट मी ऑन दिस सॉल्व वन और टू एंड देन सी 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 फॉर योरसेल्फ इफ इट वर्क्स और नॉट द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इजी इट्स एक्चुअली द एलिमिनेट द फैक्ट्स इज आवर कोर ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट इज नॉट क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 दैट इज व्हाट वी आर डूइंग that is one process we are doing the second question that we are asking jo quadratic question the char uska jo second question jo hum puch rahe hain isko hum likhenge to ye hai ki arguments kya hain ye bhi question frame ho chuka hai we have already framed the question should india do this or do that is india strategy this or that or whatever it is we'll see some examples par arguments kya hain usme why is the writer saying that this should be done kuch present karenge wo facts kuch analysis kuch data kuch reasonings वो हमको निकालने एक्सट्रैक्ट करने हैं बस और कुछ नहीं करना हमको इट डजेंट रियली मैटर इवन इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दे आर फॉर नाउ फॉर नाउ डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट व्हाट आर द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स एंड मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली इफ इफ इट इज नॉट द आर्ग्यूमेंट देन इट विल बी सम प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ सम काइंड कुछ होगा उसमें जो वो ऑथर कहना चाह रहा है सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज पर्टेनिंग टू वॉट इज द राइटर trying to emphasize or argue or elaborate or whatever he is trying to do the point that he is trying to make now but while making the point while writing the editorial the writer will also counter argue the writer will criticize the writer will highlight some downsides ye sab ek hi cheeze hain wo article pe depend karega ki आप फर्स्ट कैटेगरी में किसको डालते हैं और सेकंड कैटेगरी में किसको डालते हैं दैट इज फाइन मे बी दे बिकम स्लाइटली इंटरचेंजेबल आल्सो कभी कभी प्रोज और कॉन्स मे टर्न इनटू आर्ग्यूमेंट्स और काउंटर आर्ग्यूमेंट्स वैसे वैसे डजेंट मैटर द पॉइंट इज दो साइड्स उसमें प्रेजेंट होंगे डेफिनेटली आपको वो आइडेंटिफाई करने हैं बस आपको उसके बुलेट पॉइंट चाहिए वी रिक्वायर द बुलेट पॉइंट दैट्स इट वी रिक्वायर द बुलेट पॉइंट और वॉट द आर्ग्यूमेंट इज इग्नोरिंग द फैक्ट्स इलिमिनेटिंग द फैक्ट्स जस्ट द क्रक्स we want the counter arguments or the negatives or whatever he is counter arguing that's it ignoring it and nothing outside the editorial everything will be inside it fourth question of the quadratic questionnaire is very simple i want you to summarize the editorial and the arguments or whatever they have made in your own words in 50 or in 100 words or less in 100 words or less i want to you to summarize in your own words again i don't it does not matter to me whether you used factoids or data points or i don't care i want the analysis only 
लाइक आई सेट रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन बस उससे ज्यादा हमको उसकी डिटेल में नहीं घुसना है राइट दीज आर द फोर क्वेश्चन जस्ट टू रिपीट दैन वी आर फ्रेमिंग द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन दट दी एडिटोरियल इज विशिंग टू एड्रेस वी वाइल डूइंग ऑल ऑफ इट वी आर एलिमिनेटिंग द फैक्ट वी डोंट वॉन्ट द फैक्ट वी वॉन्ट द क्रक्स वो क्रक्स जो हम बात करते हुए किसी को समझा सकें इफ समी आस्क सर्स वट इज द एडिटोरियल अबाउट We should be able to say you won't at that time point say that India's GDP is so much. It was 1991. It was this, and now it has become this, and so therefore, therefore, therefore. We just say that who that article was about this. It was ye 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 points the. This is what the argument was. This is what the counter argument was. Ye pros and cons raise kare, or ye suggestions the. Usme that's it. Humko aur kuch nahi chahiye. Nothing else. What are the arguments? The second question. Arguments or pros or whatever. What are the counter arguments or cons or whatever? What is the summary? आप खुद अपने वर्ड से समरी लिखी आपके एनालिसिस कंप्लीट नाउ विदाउट फर्दर अडू विदाउट फर्दर अडू लेट मी टेक यू टू वन एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक दिस एग्जाम्पल आई फाउंड दिस रिसेंट आर्टिकल आई एल शो इट टू यू ऑफ कोर्स इन अ मच बेटर रेजोल्यूशन द फ्यूचर ऑफ ओल्ड टाइम्स इन इंडिया नियर यूनिवर्सल सोशल सिक्योरिटी पेंशन विच वुड बी ए गुड स्टार्ट टू ए रेडिकल एक्सपेंशन ऑफ पब्लिक सपोर्ट फॉर द एल्डरली ये आर्टिकल John Dres is a quite a famous uh, economist. He's written it, and uh, he's been working in India for many years. And this article is about whether well, we'll see what it's about. We'll see what it's about. But let's take this as an example, and let me share my screen and show you how to use this and how to do the quadratic questionnaire, how to implement that, and how to arrive at the original analysis. And then, after I'm done with this, then I will give you. the surprise the surprise that i am excited about but first let's do this so see this article contains a lot of facts dekhte hain ek bari kya isme hai near universal social security pensions would be a good start to a radical expansion of public support for the elderly near universal social security pensions would be a good start to a radical expansion of public support for the elderly लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी इन इंडिया हैज मोर देन डबल देखिए फैक्ट्स आ रहे हैं यहाँ पे मेनी कंट्रीज हैव डन इवन बेटर बट दिस इज स्टिल हिस्टोरिकल अचीवमेंट ओवर द सेम पीरियड फर्टिलिटी रेट हैज क्रैश्ड अगेन फैक्ट्स आ रहे हैं इसमें ही इज ट्राइंग टू मेक अ पॉइंट फ्रॉम दिस फैक्ट एंड वील सी वॉट दे आर ऑल दिस इज गुड न्यूज बट इट ऑल्सो क्रिएट न्यू चैलेंजेस बस ये है पॉइंट ये पॉइंट था पॉइंट ये है कि थिंग्स हैव बीन इम्प्रूविंग थिंग्स एज इन एज मच एज लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी इज कंसर्न थिंग्स इन एज मच एज फर्टिलिटी रेट इज कंसर्न इज बींग इम्प्रूवमेंट is been improving that's it that is the point i want from this from this paragraph nothing else is important for me i'm going to ignore that life expectancy has been improving how he has mentioned it fertility rate has has reduced that liberating women from the shackles of repeated child bearing and child care and this is good news fine the share of the elderly persons above 60 In India's population, close to nine percent is growing fast and may reach eighteen percent by 2036, according to the National Commission on Population. I will ignore this fact. All I will say, all I want from this, all I want from this factoid, is that the share of the elderly in India is increasing. The population of the elderly in India, 60 years and above, is increasing. That's it. I don't want the numbers. We don't need them. If India is to ensure a decent quality of life for the elderly. planning and providing for it must begin today fine pensions health recent work in mental health on mental health among the elderly in india sheds new light on their dire predicament evidence on depression from a collaborative survey of the poverty action plan and the government of tamil nadu is particularly telling the again he uses some statistics among persons aged 60 and above 30 to 50% had symptoms that make them likely to be depressed the portion with the depression symptom is much higher for women than men and rises sharply in most cases depression remains undiagnosed and untreated one might expect that depression is strongly correlated with poverty and poor health but also with loneliness among the elderly living alone in uh, in the tamil nadu sample 74% of symptoms that would classify them as likely to be mildly depressed a large the hardships of the old are not related to poverty alone but some cash but some cash often helps see what is the point being made here what 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 is the argument being presented here the argument is very simple the level of depression and the prevalence of depression in the elderly is high 
this is a matter of concern. That's it. That's all he is trying to say. It's a valid point. It's a relevant point. But the data he uses to make the point is not important for us. We want the point only. Like I said, reading comprehension. As one might expect, depression is correlated with poverty and poor health, but also with loneliness. The hardships of old age are not related to poverty alone, but some cash often helps. Cash can certainly help to cope with many health issues and sometimes to avoid loneliness as well. The first step towards a dignified life for the elderly is to protect them from destitution and all the deprivation that may come with it. That is why old age pensions are a vital part of social security systems around the world. See, now this is where he presents his argument. This is what he is saying. He is saying that the elderly have many hardships which are related to poverty alone. But cash helps. Pension. That is why he is going to make a case for universal pension. He is going to argue for universal pension and this is his argument. The first step towards a dignified life is to protect them from destitution and all deprivations that may come with it. That is why old age pensions are a vital part of social security systems around the world. India has important schemes for non-contributory pensions for the elderly, widowed women and disabled persons under the NSA, NSAP National Social Assistance Program administered by Ministry of Rural Development. This is one keyword which I may like to take, may like to take, but this is also fine. When I do go into general studies, when I, when, when we read about assistance and social welfare program, this will come. So again, okay, this is an important keyword and I don't think it should be ignored. But our focus is not Our focus is not the keyword. If you, if you ignore it, it's not a problem. What we want is the argument. See what he's saying further. The central contribution has stagnated. What that is the whole point that he is saying. He is saying that NSAP is there. NSAP program is there, but the contribution has stagnated. Many states have enhanced the coverage and or amount of social security beyond NSAP norms. Some have even achieved near universal status. Coverage of widows and elderly persons. That is now the norm, for instance, in many places. Beyond targeting. Now he says something else. He says targeting social benefits is always difficult. Restricting them to BPL families has not worked well. There are huge exclusion errors in the BPL lists. When it comes to old age pensions, targeting is not a good idea in any case. See, this is again an argument. He is arguing. What is he arguing? By now, if you take it from a um, comprehension, reading comprehension analysis point of view, what do you think he is saying? He is saying let there be universal near universal coverage. He's saying let's not target because if we start to target, we may leave many people out of that targeting. The targeting may not work. So he is going to give arguments why targeting does not work. Why we should not first, he's going to say it, why we should not first create a list of people who require this aid. He's saying let us give it to everybody. Let us not do the targeting. This is his core argument. This is what he is wishing to emphasize. This is what he's Trey saying some cheating may happen and all of these arguments are there why targeting may not work, why near universality should be the norm when we target people. Widening the net, a proposed move. See here now suggestions have started to come. It has already happened in several states. Pension is not particularly new. Near universal pension, that is the entire argument. So you remember now what was our discussion. I'm going to cut it short and just get back to our uh, discussion for a moment. You remember our first question was framed. What, the, what is the question now? What do you think is the central question which is being argued? Is it only about old age pensions? Is it only about that the elderly require social security? No. Naturally, it is about that. But that everybody knows and that already is being addressed. What this article is about, why it is an editorial, why it requires some attention from us, what we need to take out from it is that it's not just about the, the fact that they require assistance, it's about there, there should be universal, near universal assistance is what the writer is saying. The writer is comparing near universal assistance, near universal coverage with the targeting approach. And he's saying that near universal is better. That is the question. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages? He listed some advantages, disadvantages. What are the fundamental arguments he has presented? 
That was our question. Fundamental arguments are all right there. He is saying the targeting may not work because one exclusions. He said BPL the below poverty line list have exclusions, so therefore people get left out, right? And some other arguments that he mentioned. So that is what we need to take from it. Then he has given some suggestions. So after eliminating the fact, after filtering what emerges will be not more than 30, 40, 50 words. We sab kuch filter karne ke baad, fact filter karne ke baad, isko ek crux nikalne ke baad, jyada nahi, 50-60 word aapko milenge, wo aapko summary me likhne. This is editorial analysis. Now, the challenge. The challenge, I mean, not the challenge that I'm giving you, but the challenge you will experience, aap experience karenge, wo ye hai ki thodi English difficult hogi. The English might be slightly difficult, but darna nahi hai usse. There's nothing to be afraid of. Like I said, reading comprehension, pure English. Let's forget about the content. Let's forget about how difficult or easy it is. Our, our job is to understand what it is. And we have more than enough common sense. I know that you have enough, more than enough common sense to be able to understand this much. It is the exact level of reading comprehension that will be required in CSAT. And whether you are a Hindi medium or English medium, or whether you are good with English or not, CSAT is compulsory for everyone, correct? So, in any case, you have to have some reading comprehension skill. And that is the level that we read. Nothing more. Our knowledge, we will build. We will build gradually. That is what we are trying to do. But we don't need to capture everything because there is so much there, you know. NSAP was there. Those facts and figures were there. How the whole argument. But the whole filtering process ultimately led to what four or five lines worth of core content was all we could find that is all that was mentioned here and that's what we have done. this was one of the biggest editorials in the article the other editorials are smaller with much less text so those you can easily manage with this approach See, that is what i was trying to demonstrate now now some details and some now the exciting part now the exciting part I have made some changes and I have introduced um, a new collaborative and very interesting initiative. It's called the Editorial Analyzer All India Tournament. What is going to happen in this tournament? You, by the way, are invited to participate in this tournament. Now, this tournament is the type of tournament in which everyone who participates will win. Provided you participate, provided you don't drop out, right? Now, what happens in it? You will do editorial analysis. You will do editorial analysis once every week. This type of editorial analysis that I have mentioned. Once every week because with this amount of uh, analyzing, you cannot do every day. So, I have created a system for you. Just listen to the system and you will like it. Once every week, you are doing editorial analysis. Which day you will do that, I will tell you. You will continue to do this editorial analysis once every week for all the time to come until one month from the exam, one month from the prelims. You will stop that. Until that time, until that time comes, once a week, you are the one doing the editorial analysis. More to come. More. I will give you more details. Now, for this, I had to really purchase more space on the server to accommodate because this is what's going to happen. The ultimate current affair forums have been introduced, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We will be doing this analysis on the ultimate current affairs forum on the becomingies.com website. Those forums are very wide and I will share my screen and I will show you what they are. So this is what they look like. So as you go to the website and you open it, you will go to forum. They just go to this bar here. This is the home page. Go to forums here and this will open. You see this ultimate newspaper editorial analysis. I've created this for you and I've had to purchase a lot of server space so that we can now do this for a long time to come. And so it, at least the data and all should not bother us. So see here, sub forums, sub forums are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. 
this is where we'll do this and I'll tell you how. So you need to log in to the website to edit these. You have to log in. So just, just log in using Google. Now open the login button. Hai. Just do that and it will allow you to create posts and then engage with the posts. And so what's going to happen is this. What's going to happen is something very interesting. Hmm. So what on what days are you going to do the analysis? This is the interesting part, ladies and gentlemen, listen carefully. If your first name starts with A or B or C, you will be doing editorial analysis on Monday, the Monday newspaper is your responsibility, your challenge, your task, not only to yourself, but to everybody else, but to our whole community, but to everybody else who is in your peers, among your peers in this mentorship program, in the same boat as you. If your name starts with D E F G, you will be doing editorial analysis on Tuesdays. If it starts from H I J K, you will do it on Wednesday. L M N O, you will do it on Thursday. Thursday newspaper is your duty. If it is PQRS, you will be doing it on Friday. Friday newspaper is, is your responsibility. T U V W X Y Z, then Saturday. And open to all for miscellaneous articles on Sunday. Because on Sundays mostly, you won't find editorials, but you will find other interesting articles. So that Sunday portion is open. And so all these days which are mentioned, you will find in sub forums. I have created separate sub forums for Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sunday, which is open. Right? So. If your first name starts with any of these letters, accordingly on that day you are doing editorial analysis, but, but on the other days, on the rest of the days, what are you doing? On the rest of the days, you are going onto the forum where others would have posted their analysis. The others would have posted their analysis of the day. You would be reading those and you would be liking them, commenting on them and adding value adding value to them, you will go to what others have done. So let's say that your uh, responsibility, your name starts with D or let's say it starts with D and your day is Tuesday. So on Monday, it's not like you won't do anything. You won't do editorial analysis, but you will read editorial analysis done by others. You will go to the forum. You will read the editorial analysis, which has been done by others. You will like, there's a like button, like good analysis, give them encouragement give them appreciation, add value. If you think that there is some point which can be added to make the analysis better, add it, write it, comment upon it. Okay. If you feel that there is some useful information which can be shared, share it. Okay. So that is what you will be doing for all the days. Every day, log in for some time for 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever you can afford and read the analysis which has been done by others of that day. On the day that you have to do the analysis, on that day, obviously, you will need to invest more time. You have time that day, which you have to analysis and you have to do it. And you have to do it because you depend on you. Because the others will depend on you. Because that is your duty. That's your day. Then they will read your analysis. They will comment on your analysis. They will like your analysis. And so that is how we will be able to accumulate a huge a very detailed database of editorials. There is another interesting thing you can do. So every day you go to the forum and you read some analysis. Maybe one day you do the analysis, the day you are responsible for it. But on other day you go and you read. And so if you like some analysis, it's very nicely done. Copy paste it. Copy paste it and create a Word document and save it with you. Have it with you. Okay. Have it with you. Save it with you. Copy paste it. So on your day to analyze the editorials. What were you doing? Let's say that if my name starts with R and what is my day? If I am supposed to do this, that I suppose that my day is Friday. Then Friday newspaper, every Friday, every Friday, I am supposed to do the editorial analysis. How many editorial analysis? At least two, at least two, maybe more. If I have the time, maybe more. Which two should I do? Any two. Obviously, not the political ones. Obviously, the ones which are relevant to the UPS. Obviously, you will be able to spot which ones. Which newspaper? Any newspaper. 
your choice just not political news those you know are not relevant for the upsc i don't need to tell you any news no problem there but on friday i have to do the analysis i have to create the post if your name starts with p q or r or s then you have to do it also so many people all the people who have with this name start uh, the first name with any of these alphabets will be doing that so multiple entries will come and you'll be able to see all editorials will be covered like this and then we'll have a very rich uh, community and a database of learning that we will all benefit from okay you will contribute you will receive much 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 more than you contribute in this so don't be a silent spectator spend the time do it every day go and read what's being done so just to repeat ladies and gentlemen just to repeat what has just happened forums have been introduced on the becomingias.com website on the forums we have to do editorial analysis all of us are in this together we are in this thing together we have to help each other we have to appreciate we have to give constructive criticism we have to learn and we have to help each other sail through this process okay and when you do editorial analysis what are you going to do you are going to answer four questions which i described of the editorial what is the central issue or debate what is the question that the article is trying to answer what are the arguments or the pros or the cons what are the counter arguments or cons summarize the whole article in 50 words that's your analysis for one editorial that's it that's very simple there's really nothing much to it okay how create a new post every time you do the editorial analysis mention the title and the date also please remember that that's something i should emphasize date of the editorial and the article should be mentioned on top that's your heading that's the heading of the subject that you are creating a post on the forum and others will reply or perhaps there will be a thread or a communication or a conversation will start on, on your entry and so that's what should happen that would be a very healthy thing if it happens right and so every day you are logging in and you are reading the analysis you will like and appreciate important and good analysis which have been done by others you will you may wish to copy paste and create your own database which others would have created right and you can comment and add value to others and others will do the same for you and so that my dear friends is what is going to happen but everybody benefits from this surely but what do the super achievers get what do the people who are truly committed who are more consistent what do they get so the reason that we have now forums forums are able to capture your level of engagement the forums will be able to capture how many posts you created how active you are and it will start giving you levels you may have experienced forums before so the more advanced you become the forum starts recording them at the end of the year at the end of the year the top 10 contributors the top 10 contributors will be appreciated and i will send them a personal gift physical gift i will send them on their address and i will announce their names right so ladies and gentlemen do not procrastinate do not delay jump in feel excited this is going to be very interesting as soon as you start you will see you will be able to read others others will be able to read yours you will we will all improve i will be constantly supervising it i'll be looking at it every time you post on the forum there will be a time stamp so i'll know when you posted what so just in case and that's a question which i anticipate assuming that you were not able to do it your day was friday and you did not you didn't have it so what should you do then go back to the friday sub forum go back to the friday sub forum and do it then if you miss a day just go back on that day but do it but make sure that you put the analysis in the right sub forum okay and so it will be much easier also jab baad mein aap forums ko visit karenge end mein revision ke liye 
तो आपको सब एक जगह ऑर्गेनाइज भी मिलेंगे मंडे ट्यूजडे वेडनेसडे थर्सडे फ्राइडे उसमें बहुत सारे थ्रेड्स होंगे बट यू विल बी एबल टू फिल्टर वेरी क्विकली क्योंकि उसमें डेट्स लिखी होंगी दैट इज द वे वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस आई होप यू आर एज एक्साइटेड अबाउट दिस एज आई एम शुड बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लेट्स बिगिन इमीडिएटली टुमारो लेट्स बिगिन टुमारो सो द पीपल हु हैव देयर नेम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ए और बी और सी द फर्स्ट नेम्स आर डूइंग द एडिटोरियल एनालिसिस ऑन मंडे वी आर ऑल वेटिंग वी आर ऑल वेरी लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू योर एनालिसिस and we prepared to engage ladies and gentlemen i hope that uh, this this helps i hope this brings us into a much better a more coherent a more cohesive a much more efficient community and so we should be able to catch the benefit of being in this community it's not just me giving out this information there's also all you guys all of your minds all of your brains combined together is far far superior than my brain there is no comparison at all so let's use all of the brains that we have here and let's all benefit from it and so i will see you soon and i look forward to your analysis goodbye and take care